Okay, I'm doing this one right after the other because I'm trying to get to day 31 at least by the time I leave for work. I got a, quite a bit of time, but we'll try it anyway. Okay, so day 30 is uh, the crone intonation and what you'll need is um, your indigo taper candle and because I used it already, I cut them in half, I'm just using a little white one for now. Um, and a compass. Or if you're good at figuring out where the direction is, you can do that on your own. So set your alarm clock so you know to begin this exercise at dusk. Take out your compass, locate the west, and place a cushion on the floor. Or set a chair so that when you sit, you will face this direction. Set the indigo candle before you, light it, and set your gaze upon the candle flame. Take a deep breath, expanding the lungs and the belly. As you exhale, begin to vocalize the sound, mmm. Sustain the sound until all breath vacates your lungs. Allow your inhalation to arise from this uh, emptiness, from this emptiness you created. From the, vacated, from the vacated lungs. And then again, fill your lungs to capacity. Repeat the intonation five more times, making a so total of six intonations. When you complete the sixth intonation, sit in silence for 15 or 20 minutes and allow the essence of this intonation to change your consciousness. I have done this um, already, way before, and it's the usual stuff for you guys. I'm terribly sorry. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit. I don't want to completely, you know, bias your, if you're taking this journey as well, but um, I've always loved these. Um, they're just about as awesome as the invocation prayers. Um, love just sitting there and kind of, you know, allowing what I feel to wash over me, and it's great. So. Um, that was day 30, and uh, I will see you for day 31. Sorry, I'm just making little notes in my book so that I remember certain things to tell you that I remember. Anyway, bless and be and keep crafting, witches.